Both the Arabs and the Jews are known for their hospitality. The reason is because we share a common ancestor, Abraham Avinu, Abraham. Abraham's tent was open to the four corners of the world to welcome guests, whoever they were, and from wherever they came. But hospitality is not an easy thing. I know I'd far rather be a host than a guest. Being a guest is uncomfortable. Avram Avinu was the perfect host. And this ability has percolated down through the generation to his children's children. Many years ago, there was a Jewish traveling salesman who missed his train and found himself far from home late on a Friday afternoon. There was no way he could get home before Shabbos. So he looked for the nearest phone booth, he went inside, and he started to page through the phone directory. C, C O, C O H, C O H E, Cohen. He dialed the number and explained his predicament to Mr. Cohen. Mr. Cohen immediately invited him over to spend Shabbos with him. And when he arrived, Mr. Cohen welcomed his guest warmly and showed him his room. It was very, very comfortable. Oh, said Mr. Cohen, and here's the shower. And then he took him downstairs to the kitchen, showed him the fridge and said, please help yourself to anything you like. A delicious aroma of cholent was filling the kitchen and Mr. Cohen pointed to the cholent and said, maybe you'd like a little cholent before Shabbos. This is so kind of you, said the traveling salesman. Not at all, said Mr. Cohen. Oh, by the way, uh, just one more thing. I charge $150 per person for Shabbos. $150? That's the price of a hotel. Well, said Mr. Cohen, it's up to you. The traveling salesman had no option. As soon as his host had left the room, he thought to himself, well, if this is gonna cost me $150, I'm going to enjoy myself. He went up to his room, took a long, hot shower, washing away the grime and the stress of his long week. He went downstairs and helped himself to the delicious cholent simmering on the stove. The Shabbos, it was wonderful. The davening, the praying in the local shul, the local synagogue was uplifting with beautiful tunes, some familiar, others not. During the entire Shabbat, he dined like a prince. He really made himself at home. After Shabbos, when he chowed and packed, he made his way downstairs and he plunked $150 on the table in front of his host. What's this, said Mr. Cohen. That's the money I owe you. You really think I'd take money from a fellow Jew for the mitzvah of hachnosis orchim, of hospitality? You don't owe me anything. But you told me that I'd have to pay. I only told you that so you'd relax and make yourself at home. The worst thing you can do to a guest when he brings you a bottle of wine is to say, oh, you shouldn't have done that. By doing that, you just stopped him from being able to remove his feelings of being a taker by contributing to the meal. Rather, take that bottle, open it up, put it in the middle of the table and say, let's see how long that lasts. The mitzvah of hospitality is greater even than receiving the divine presence. Abraham was the perfect host and he bequeathed that ability to his descendants.